folks, back at you with another video. Today I want to do a toolbox uh, tour uh, of my big one. And um, I've got some uh, changes coming up on that box, so I want to get this done uh, before I start on that. And uh, so, yeah, you guys have an idea what uh, what we have here, and let's get started. Um, please like and subscribe, it helps the channel out a lot, don't cost nothing. And uh, let's get into this. All right, just my little work area here. I got my miniature box here. That's where I leave some of my business cards, keys, pens, and all kinds of little sh stuff. Uh, collapsible uh, trays there from uh, Metco. My Milwaukee boom box, and then my, some hand soap and sh uh, shit like that. Um, here I've got my Mayu pry bars and long extensions. And my big breaker bar. All right, let's get started here in the top drawer. Uh, that's all AC related stuff here. Here I've got uh, air, so I've got my tire gauge here, um, a blow gun, um, and then all tire and air related stuff in here. Measuring stuff and markers, we've got that all in here. Um, temp guns, uh, oh, what's that again? Not sure. I forgot the name on how you call that. Uh, that there is pretty cool. It's great for lining up uh, pulleys, so your uh, serpentine belt will run straight. Uh, and then I got calipers here, feeler gauges here, and then some spark plug uh, gapping tools right there. Here I got my picks and my scrapers. Some knives. Here I've got, this used to be such a junk drawer, but with, uh, with the tool grit, I mean, I was really able to organize it. So I've got my, my brushes right here. I've got my files. And then my little files. Deburring tools, stuff like that. That's a deburring tool as well. And then more brushes and the hyper steps from uh, Metco. Uh, this is just uh, paperwork. Some of my specialty tools here. Stut remover and installer. Uh, four broken spark plug uh, remover from Lyle. Uh, this here is a great kit. It's the uh, Mass Line Stopper set. I don't use that anymore. I actually need to take that out uh, because I replaced that with this here. Uh, brake flaring tool kit from Lyle. This thing is this thing is awesome, guys. Yeah. And this one here is for uh, Cummins um, removal tool, and you can do with this thing. I've got them both in one box, so it's a injector removal tool, and um, I can also do compression with that. That's what that is, and then some other stuff here. There's just some overflow right now, and I got my torque wrenches here. Quarter, three eighths, half click style, and then half, three eighths, and quarter uh, digital from Gear Wrench. And this here's my screwdriver drawer. <coughs> right now I'm rocking the uh, the Tectons. I've been doing pretty good. Got some of my snap on uh, long screwdrivers in here. Right there. Uh, 
These vessels are great. Those are the impactors. Little ratcheting screwdriver here from Williams. My um, Mayu picks. And here I've got uh, all my uh, all my bits, the bits bit ratchets, uh, some specialty sockets here, spark plug sockets, pipe plug sockets, you know all that kind of jazz. Uh, this is for Cummins uh, to turn the engine. Some of my magnets, Allen's. Torx and triple, and then some more of that stuff here. And then these are some uh, where are Allen keys, they're great. And here's my big drawer uh, three quarter, three quarter drive, half inch drive, uh, deep impact, half inch drive. Uh, standard, a couple extra swivels there, 3 eighths deep and shallow, quarter deep and shallow, half inch chrome, um, and then uh, we've got uh, 3 eighths here, deep uh, or shallow, mids and deep, and the same thing on the quarters, shallow, mids and deep. Then there's some blue points right there, some swivelies here, 12 points, they're handy sometimes, don't need them all the time. Uh, some adapters and attachments, um, these here, I can put that on the end of an extension, and then you make that extension a, uh, a locking extension. 3H uh, drive, 12 points, the nano sockets here. Uh, my swivel sockets, impact sockets right here, 3 8 half inch, uh, quarter, 3 8 and half adapters. I use those actually quite a bit. These are the gear range bolt biters. Then I got some stunt removers there. Uh, this here is all standard, so over there from here to there, that's all metric. And then this is all standard. Uh, 3 8 drive deep and shallow, deep and shallow in quarter, shallow in half, and then uh, shallow and deep uh, impacts, 3 8 shallow and deep quarter impacts, uh, shallow uh, half inch drive, and deep half inch drive. And here I got my ratchets. All snap on a quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, half inch drive. And this is the long one right here, as you can tell. And then this is all my three eighths and the extension backslash driver. And there's that. Standard jumbo wrenches and sockets and some axle sockets. Marshall finish this row off. Uh, some of those water pump pliers. Uh, chain plier here or chain wrench. And my big uh, adjustable three quarter drive uh, ratchets and extensions. Tire and brake related stuff right here. And this is just junk and overflow. This is all metric. Gear range ratchets. Um, these are the XL long from gear range. XL range set from gear range. Uh, some John Deere crow's feet. They uh, they work pretty well, as you can tell. See that John Deere. 
and then uh, the big wrench set from gear wrench mural cups uh, these suck guys don't spend your money on these they're not worth it they spread like crazy so uh, I thought I was gonna be um, worth your time but it's not um, and your money it, it's not it's junk don't spend your money on that for sure and then all my metric stubbies this is all standard basically the same layout all right pliers these are my uh, snap ring pliers right here there's an extra large set uh let me see here yeah extra large set large set small set uh adjustable some of those uh easy red kiwi pliers right here pinch off pliers and uh some gear wrench uh, hose pliers and long double flexing uh, knee needle nose. I really love this because when you have to really reach up in there, um, you know, it doesn't take up that much room. Otherwise, a lot of times your hand will get in the way. And I've got the same thing on, uh, on these hose pliers. And then... Uh, here we got some uh, SK needle nose, long and short. I love that little thing right there. Uh, Knipex uh, side cutters, Knipex uh, wrench pliers, and then the Cobra set right here from small to large. Uh, some flush cuts, and that's a Lyle. Um, if you work on transmissions, you, you need these right here. For snap rings and then I've got uh, a variety of uh, vice grips here uh, I use these a lot for the clamps those are great all right this is my oh shit drawer uh, tap and die set for Large step and die set. Uh, that's the smaller stuff right there. Because um, this goes uh, over half inch up to, I think, three quarter. I'm not 100%. Um, everybody knows what that is. Uh, this here's, these two here are my favorite. Those are the first ones I use for uh, uh, if you break something off and you have to remove it. These work awesome, and these work really awesome. I mean, you see how much that one there is twisted? You can put a lot of torque on them. It's unbelievable. Definitely worth, on um, both of these, definitely worth their money in gold. Uh, Rethreading uh, set here from Lang. Everybody knows what that is. Some stubby drill bits, um, some more stubby drill bits right here. These are really cool. And I mean, you can drill through some really, really tough stuff with uh, with these. And if you put them in your uh, 90 degree uh, uh, small drill, uh, you don't need a lot of room with these. Uh, they're really, they're really great. Some left uh, well uh, tap socket holders right here, and some more drills and miscellaneous. Uh, service wrenches. Yeah, oh, all that self-explanatory right there. Sensor socket set. That's a great set to have. Pick a fork kit right there. All right. Uh, pressure system. Down tester and then uh, radiator filler.
This here's a great set right there. Up shocker, that thing is great for simple design is what it is. Uh, that's the menu uh, to remove tie rod ends. These are my uh, metric jumbo wrenches and uh, wrench extender right here. The uh, big set of crow's feet right here. Uh, may you pry bars and you would say well that's not a pry bar nope it's actually one of the may you uh, scrapers and I actually use this one a lot for uh, if if you got a transmission that you want to pop loose and I don't want to get you know don't want to give up put that in there tap it on the end and it starts you know it because it's so thin it really gives you an easy start and uh, and then from there it creates room to put in uh, to put in uh, a regular pry bar or whatever you need. Trim tools right here, and then my gear wrench uh, adjustable pry bars. Those are great to have. Hammers, air hammer. That's my, uh, I think this is Stanley. I'm not sure. And then Trusty Cook for hammers. Big Mammoth Jamma. And then the others here. This here is one of my favorites. It's small, so you don't, you know, you don't need a lot of room to swing that, uh, swing that bad boy. Punches and air hammer uh, chisels and punches, brass punches. This is an old one right here, but it's great. And then I've got some more punches here, some <laughs> some homemade stuff. But you know what? This thing has been handy as all get out. There was a big old bolt where the threads were screwed up, so yeah. And as you can tell, I use it quite a bit. Chisels, and then some really, really, really big punches right here. And then these are some uh, race punches, bearing the race punches from uh, Mayu. All right. Now we got some uh, pulley pullers here, all, all sorts of flavors. Get into this cabinet. Everybody knows what that is. Uh, glues and goos and whatnot. Um, I've got my smoke machine there, and that's my uh, for brake uh, vacuum uh, brake bleeder. And then that's the tank you can set up to on top of the reservoir, so you don't run out. Uh, some baby oil for the smoke machine. Some of these tunnels and and this right here uh, for brake clean is great. Coat reader, this is for really old stuff. Here's my other one, my big one that I use a lot. Electrical stuff right here, digital, old school. Um, Wire strippers, wire crimper, Milwaukee wire strippers. These are these are nice too. All sorts of attachments for my uh, for my tester here, um, and then some other things in here. Uh, dielectric grease, some battery terminal stuff, uh, electrical tape. Use this when uh, when you have to probe a wire. Put a little bit of that on that. And keep keep the, the green crusties out. More electrical testing stuff. That's nice. That is a really great set to have. Some back probing stuff here from uh, from Cornwell. Um, these here are terminal cleaners. 
really nice. So I'm gonna have my soldering soldering stuff right there. Uh, Power Probe. This is my big. This is my Power Probe three, and, and then you got uh, this temperature. Uh, really nice when you have to do AC work. You can stick these in the back and in the front vent, and you take this up front with you while you're charging the vehicle. You can see what the temperature is doing. More attachments for the power probe, and then this is the uh, short finder. Amp out. This here is a great tool to have. Uh, jump pack. And I got my oil uh, filter wrenches here. That one there is great for uh, filling some of those transmissions. They got uh, the fill tube, you know, the, the tube sitting too far under the cowl and uh, you can't really add oil to it. Put that on there. It gets you away from it. Makes it easy. It's nice. Uh, some grease, some Vaseline, and uh, some of this stuff here. Great stuff to have. All right. We're getting close to the end of it. I got my overhead here. Uh, this is where I store the large cases I got. Uh, fender covers. Um, fan, uh, fan clutch remover tool, slide hammer. Uh, this here is my old three quarter inch uh, torque wrench. And then just some junk. And that's another uh, jump, little jump pack. I use that for cars. And I've got my, you know, some of my box cleaning supplies there and whatnot. All right. Now, let's get into this one here. Uh, it's a snap-on power, uh, power bank, power drawer, however you want to call it. Man, I love this thing. So... Half inch drive high torque, half inch drive mid torque, three quarter inch uh, stubby. Uh, the grind, the die grinder. Uh, this here is a little screw gun, and then I've got my drill right here. Uh, Ninety degree drill right there with some batteries, and then I've got my uh, uh, used to be quarter, now it's three eighths. I converted that over. Uh, so I got a smaller head, uh, so that's a long reach ratchet, three eighths. Uh, then these are the the older ones. I like these because the head is small, uh, so that's three eighths and quarter. And then here I've got uh, my bin for uh, some of the attachments on the, for the die grinder, my batteries, my charger. That's my. That's a rapid charger, as you can tell. That thing is great. Charge your batteries in no time. Um, one inch drive impact with the big Mamma Jamma battery to go with that, and then the attachments and sockets. Most use sockets that I use with that. All right, I think I got her about knocked out, guys. Uh, this here is a Snap On. This here is a Matco. Matco, Matco, and then here, that's an icon. So, and this here is a uh, MB8535. So, yeah, that box is pushing to be 20 years old, and it's still doing great for me. All right, guys, that will wrap it up for this video. I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comment box, and uh, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. Don't cost nothing, and we're going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.